Good morning ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the day of the video day and how's it going today? Today I'm heading to work. Yesterday, obviously, rained quite a lot. Uh, it looks like it might rain today as well, but um, <clears throat> we're heading off to work. Got up normal time, last day of the week today, so hopefully it's not too boring. And I don't see it being that boring today because while, well, there's now two of us because uh, Lewis is off until next Monday. Um, so it's just me and Lewis, fucking hell. Um, and theoretically then, so the work that we are being given is now being divided by two instead of by three, which is good, because we're currently not being given enough as it is. Um, but also yesterday we had like an intense planning session where we were planning all of the different, like the layout. We basically, we've got a system now. We've got a website, we're converting it into a different type of system to an MVC kind of format. And I. On a brief abridge from yesterday's video, I'm assuming that I can do something similar to this this thing, but with PHP instead of C sharp. Um, PHP is a relatively competent language, not quite as open, let's say, as um, C sharp, but anyway, <laughs> it's irrelevant. Yeah, so we've got this program that's that's currently just basically a website. It's really shit. And when I say that, it's, it's it does what it's supposed to do. It's really good at doing what it does as well. It does it well. However, the way it does it is horrendous. Um, it's, um, it's basically all on one page, <laughs> which is always a shit idea. Like, do you remember me saying like a couple of weeks ago that I was doing a refactor and I was taking out like a huge chunk of code to put into a separate place so that we could use it more of a, as a function. That's basically what we need to do, but we need to do that for the entire thing. The web page is supposed to have no code on it, like zero fucking code, which is hard. So it's going to be interesting to see how we're going to convert it and stuff. But we did some plans, which means that when we get there, we, we, we've kind of scheduled like something like 75 hours to make the change over. We won't obviously be sitting there 75 hours like straight on from each other, but um, that's how long we've estimated. So as soon as we get in, even if we're not given work on any other front, we have this huge chunk to do. And then as we're doing that chunk, we've also got a load of testing to do because it opens it up so you can test it a lot better, etc, etc, etc. So yeah, <laughs> that's, um, it's basically a, a virtually endless treasure, treasure trove of work we've got to dive down. Um, so it doesn't matter if we're not given work on the main thread, um, we can just do work on this thread instead, which is good. Otherwise though, um, we're also waiting for work on my my side project thread and the guys' side project threads which will also be put on the board and all that crap um so yeah work shouldn't be too bad today although there is only two of us and there's only going to be two of us for a week um so we'll see how we handle it won't we <laughs> um but yes otherwise though um i've got some i don't know what i'm going to do on the bus i keep saying i'm going to read i've never read i haven't read once in a once in the past fucking week or so. Um, I might polish up the script for tomorrow for the tomorrow when I film it, or Sunday when I film it, for my main channel video. I'm also working on two, well, I've, uh, well, two ideas for other videos and stuff, and I need to work those together and things like that. I've got things to do, but I might just take it easy and read. It's Friday. I mean, like, I can do work and stuff tomorrow. <laughs> so I don't know but I've been saying I'll just read on the bus for the past week so it's just figuring out exactly what I want to do and when because uh, at the moment because if work is slow I come back and I'm like Ugh, I can't be bothered to do anything kind of that's what it does to you when work's really slow and really like boring but <laughs> it's fucking so quiet nowadays um, if work's good then I'll come back and I'll be really productive which is why I've been doing things in the morning really so that I can make uh, make the most of the productive parts. But we'll see what we do. Last night I chilled out and didn't really do much pigeons. <laughs> um, so we'll see, I'll probably feel bad and do proper work tonight. But if not, I have a long and full weekend to do stuff with as well. Um, we go shopping. Um, shopping in town, wrapping up this present, main channel video lots to do basically. I think as well as just um, like being bored at work or being on holiday last week I think I'm also being affected by like a come down of not being able to see lovely and stuff 
because like last no last um yeah because i kind of come home and i'm just like really lonely and i really miss people and then you're in a predicament where you want to do stuff because you miss people to take your mind off it but you can't be bothered to do stuff because you miss them in the first place um and that's what i'm fighting with i think at the moment oh look at that lot the first van what's that replacement bus service or something 76 which means my 76 will come soon he says hopefully <laughs> uh. <laughs> i need to get get into stuff. i don't i don't really have much to do it's just i don't have anything i need to do and that's stopping me from doing things that i want to do or like i could do with doing yeah you get me you get me bro well this traffic doesn't make going home looking very e will look very easy what also the bus looks like it's going to be like 15 minute wait from here so what's gone on today at work work's been pretty good for a change we've been doing our um mvc and it's not that much of a change as we thought so far um We've only been playing with the relatively new stuff, which was similar to MVCs as it was. Um, if you remember the refactor I did a long time ago, that was, that's was that gone a long way to help reduce the amount of work that we need to do. Although we have to do something very similar again when we have to do everything else. <laughs> did you hear that guy heckling my front car as he's going past? He's like, he goes, whoa, YouTube, and then I like cut the camera. And then he's still there in the traffic and he's just staring at me. And I'm just staring back at him, laughing. And he's like, yeah, vlogging. Woo, YouTube. Anyway, where was I? Ah, uh, yeah, so we'll see. But theoretically, we will probably get it done for conservative guests. will be Tuesday or Wednesday. Assuming that we don't have much time for anything else. Like, like much other work's coming through. Because we've had no more work coming from the other project yet. Which isn't fun. But yeah, otherwise news from the buses the uh bus stories the students are back as it as it turns out as i got closer to gloucester road someone students got on <laughs> there's so much like that they're like oh yes yes next next year i might go to, i might go thailand i think we might go scuba diving yes mm, that sounds very nice I, I like the idea of going scuba diving but we could i'll probably do some training here yes that'd be brilliant oh yes and i and what we did this year i looked out and one of my friends is really into downhill mountain bike <laughs> whatever it's called downhill motor motorcycling yeah he loves it and he's got a spare bike as well so i spent my summer just going down the hills in the alps it was so exciting oh yes one of the most thrilling things i've ever done so that was entertaining to listen to otherwise entertaining to communicate with obviously the scottish independence vote did it was today and they weren't idiots and they voted not to leave which is good um but i've got a friend he's not a friend i don't like him he's a dick um <laughs> i virtually guarantee he doesn't watch these videos and he's the kind of person who just like you can't he's never wrong no 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 he's never wrong and the difference as well is everyone else is wrong there's one thing that can basically mean you're right you can either be no two things you can either be this guy and you speak 100 percent truth or a labor mp if you're not one of those two things then you're speaking absolute bollocks and everything you're saying is a lie and just completely wrong according to this guy <laughs> so he's posted all over the over facebook about how like scotland is this and they've Unfortunately, they're going to get screwed over by Westminster. And I don't care, quite frankly. I'm bloody glad that Scotland isn't going to be in news for a while because it's bloody done my head in for the past two weeks with it being constantly on a holiday and constantly on BBC News um, during the daytime when I'm, like, reading it for the... And, you know, Mike Smith from the Minecraft series. Um, he posts typical Scotland in it, all talk and no substance. To which, we're now... He, he comments something like, yeah, threats upon... Uh, threats from the big-mouthed Westminster fascists and the mainstream media's typical bias towards these things had nothing to do with all of that. <laughs> to, to which we're now winding him up. <laughs> so I put, I think they realised they'd have to grow their own back, backbone and bottled it. And then Shawnee Boy says, yeah, I'm sure the Scottish are completely incapable of independent thought and do whatever the media and fascists tell them without question. <laughs> And then I said, love to see them run an independent country if they are so easily influenced by international media. Ah, oh, 
he's going to be pissed. He's going to go on a literal rampage for this. It's going to be the best thing ever. But it's home time now, and it's time to cook a chilli. Have I cooked a chilli in a while? And the reason I'm cooking it today is because the mushrooms got out of date today. Um, oh, I'm not sure if I've even got room to freeze the bugger. I do. I'm going to have to use this freezer though, because the other one's full. Filled it, mate. Filled it. Mushrooms. I'm watching Dr. Hero as well while I do it. Mush we'll take this out in case it's not fully defrosted yet, which it should be because I left it overnight. Uh, chile. Mushroom. <laughs> Mushrooms. Chiles. Peppers. Red onions. Tomatoes. In the works, mate. I don't know how piss about when I do my chilies. Tomato. 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 Please do we have tomato? <laughs> do we have to do we have tomato? Tomato. Tomato. Is that Spanish? I don't know. Tomato! We only got one left. Boys! Get back on that train. Jesus. Tomato. Pasta swords. Which pasta swords are we using today? Lloyd Grossman? Oh, we saved that one for Lovely, don't we? <laughs> Lovely has her own special one that only gets banged out when she's here. Um, tomato and chili or bolognese? Bolognese. Tomato and chili or bolognese? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Any red onions as well? I don't know. Look at the fucking frozen there. Mushrooms are, boys. Tomato. Who, what do you think, boys? What's your favourite? What is your guy's favourite? There's another one. Patax oh, there. Patax! Get in there, Patax. Where is. Should I have it with spaghetti? Is that open? <laughs> Should I stop filming? Bolognese, boys, bolognese. It is. Right. Let's get chopper chopping. Chopper lopping. Chopper lopping. And watch Dot Root. And in other news as well, I've also booked one other thing for when I'm in Leeds with a lovely. We're going to be, um, obviously I'm going up for a birthday and stuff, and the Friday we are basically going on a massive adventure, um, and I've got one more thing for it. It's going to be a mental day, it's going to be probably, it's going to go down in vlog history as one of the busiest days ever, but it's going to be absolutely amazeable. And that is all that matters, isn't it? That's all that matters. And job done. What a crazy day. What a crazy, like, mismatchy kind of day today has been. Um, I've just been playing, I've just had dinner and stuff. Um, I've been playing Xbox with the boys, but their internet up in uh, Shittingham <laughs> hasn't worked very well. And they've all just dived off, and there's something wrong with Xbox Live or something. They can't get back online. I was having some proper, like, issues towards the end of that. So, yeah. Otherwise, though, what I'm going to... I thought you just turned off then. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get in my Jimmy Jams and I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to watch the half of Breaking Bad that I fell asleep through yesterday. Um, but then otherwise I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to hopefully have a bit of a lion tomorrow. Um, not that I feel like I need it. But then otherwise we have lots of cool, fun things to do. We're going to go to town. Got to get some stuff. Got to hope for... <sighs> hopefully I'll be able to pick up Lovely's birthday present, which would be good. Um, but yeah, otherwise I'm really excited. I'm really excited about some things. I want to tell you about them, but I can't. I probably can, because I'm so far behind. Especially, like, Lovely's birthday. I want to tell you all about it. I'm really, I'm really, really excited. It's like it's my birthday. Um, but, yeah. What can you do, eh? Can't tell you about it. And then there's a couple of things, like, video-wise, that I uh, am planning in the background. In the background. Speaking of which, I'm going to be filming a video this weekend. Possibly on Sunday. Depends, though, if I can pick up Lovely's birthday present tomorrow. If I can't, then it might shoot the video in the foot a bit, bit, might cause a couple of problems, but I'll just end up getting up early on Sunday to do it, so. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I will catch you later.